So let's talk about the beehive. Uh, this symbol is where the, we'll have it for all the bees and uh, boxes and all that kind of stuff and what's in there. So let's go talk about the different parts of the hive. This is an exploded drawing <coughs> showing you the hive. Starting at the bottom, working to the top, we'll go over each one of these functions. This board that you'll see, and we'll show you some pictures of these later on in this presentation, this is what we call a uh, bottom board. This is just a nice, solid foundation that the rest of the hive can stand on. Um, you need to have a very solid one because as you get up into here and you start getting honey supers on, these can weigh a couple hundred pounds or more, and you need a good, solid bottom board. This box here is about nine inches tall. It's what we call a, uh, a deep uh, or a brood box. Um, it's where most of the laying of the larva, and you'll have honey in here also and pollen, but this is where that occurs. And you'll start out with one of these on your hive, and then you'll build it up as the bee's population grows. Normally, we, you'll see two boxes where these are the bees and their home, and you really don't disturb those. This is where the, the basis of your beekeeping is at, and you'll want to keep these in very good shape and going well and growing. And as they grow, then you'll have these smaller boxes on top that we call the honey supers. And the honey supers are now where you'll want to have honey. Um, right here, you'll notice this little thing right here. This is what we call a queen excluder. This excluder has small gaps in it, either metal or in plastic, that you'll see in a little while. But this prevents the queen with her bigger abdomen from coming up into this box where the honey is produced and laid. And not laid, but here is stored up here in these boxes. Otherwise, she would be laying brood all along in here with the, with the honey that's stored up here. By using a queen excluder, you can keep her down and you can have this exclusively honey, which makes the extraction process much easier. On top of this top box, no matter whether it's this one or this one, as you build up, there's an, what we call an inner cover. This inner cover does have a small hole in it to allow for bees to come in and out if you want a top entrance and exit, and then you have a cover that goes on the top of everything. We'll show you some more of these that are actual photographs. Here's our bottom board. Um, ours is a very solid, uh, three-quarter inch spine with uh, supports on the outside and then a board that goes underneath all the way. These small pieces keep the hive up a little bit so at the front you'll have a gap under your box that the bees can come to and from. And we can adjust the size of this by the use of what we call an entrance reducer and show you that here a little bit. The thing we like about it is that with this you've got a space between these two areas. So if you wanted to move your hive or had to move your hive, you could throw some straps through these here, strap your hive down and then load it up and uh, take it to a new location if you need to do that. But this is your base of your hive. There is another type of um, bottom board that we um, supply, and that's called a screen bottom board. This bottom board basically the same shape, very strong, but you may not see it in the film very well, but there's a screen that goes completely across this opening here. Underneath that screen is a, another piece of plywood, and that plywood will move in and out via the back here. You can pull it in and out. This allows you to open it up if you've got real hot days and you can have some ventilation in there for the bees. Or you can put uh, the, some plastic sticky stuff on there and it will help you see if there's any mites that are coming in because the bees will pick those off and guff them and they'll, they'll fall and they get onto that sticky and then you can start counting your mite if you've got mite problems. But it's good for those two things, ventilation and checking your mites. This is the hive reducer that I talked about and you can see this very small hole here. There's another one, you, I don't know if you can see it or not, this is about an inch wide. But there's also, when you turn it to a third position, it will seal the entrance off completely if you want to do that. Like you're going to move your hive to another place, you can seal it off, keep the bees um, from coming and going while you're moving it. Um, but the small opening there, the bees work just fine going in and out of this hive with these small openings. Um, I don't know if they've got traffic cops in there, but sometimes it looks like they need one. All right, let's talk about the hive bodies that we call deeps. These are the big ones. and Inside, you're going to have your frames and foundation, the wood frames, and then inside, connected to those of the foundation that you'll see right here. That's where the bees do their work and their magic. So this is the big one of the big ones. This is the inner cover that we talked about that goes on the very top box. However many you've got, it'll go on the very top of that box underneath the, the top cover. And that's the hole in the middle. 
get a lot of the bees out. Some people often cut a hole here a little bit, and that allows the bees to come and go from the top of this. And the top. This uh, top is metal, um, a high grit of uh, metal. And on the edges, we have this edge here that's um, <clears throat> angled out a little bit, like a drip edge you'll see on your gutters and stuff like that on your home. And that helps to keep the moisture away from your hive body. Um, we cover ours completely. You'll see some uh, of these tops where the metal only comes down halfway. We've had some of those in the past, and what we didn't like was that that would rot away within a few years if you had a real wet season, and then you had to replace all this. These will last quite a long time because the wood is covered up that's in the frame of the inside of this top. There is another tile of, of top that we do offer. Um, it's called a pitch top. And if you can see it, there's this, it looks like a couple of atmics in the middle of this. This just allows the pitch to come up a little bit and helps to shed the water a little bit more than the flat top. And snow or anything that might sit on top of it. So a couple of different methods of doing that. <clears throat> Sometimes in the early spring or when you get uh, new bees, you'll want to feed them. You'll have to supplement their feed. Um, and this is what we refer to as an uh, inside in high feeder and it'll hold about a gallon of liquid and there's a top here that goes on and then there's two um, ladders that come down inside here that the bees can crawl down with as their water or their feet level recedes and they can go in and out of there to um, get the feed that they need and this is on the inside of the in the hive um, it's a good one um, it holds a lot and you can leave it in there for a while you don't have to change it out as often this one is called an outside feeder, an entrance feeder. And these little prongs here fit underneath that lip, that uh, gap there that the bees go in and out of. It will sit under there. Um, and you can fill this, you can do a quart jar, you can do a smaller jar, as long as it fits within this screw here. And the bees will come in from the inside of the hive in here and they can then take the liquid that's being um, it's got small holes in it so the liquid will be sitting there and the bees can suck that up. Nice thing about this one is the advantages and disadvantages of both. This one you can see the level of the feed that's inside and you can change that out easily as it gets low. Whereas the in high feeder you've got to lift the lids off and the inner cover and take a look at that and see what's going on. So, But the other one holds more and you don't have to deal with it as much. So advantages for both of them. A uh, third one, and there's many different styles of these things, is a top feeder. And the liquid will go in here that's fit on the very top box that you've got there. And the bees can come up from the bottom, and they come up through this, and then out on the side with the cover there, it's there. That they can then go down and get the feed that's uh, into this liquid. The advantage for this one is you can usually just lift the top off and see where it's at and need it, and it's easy to pour with a lot of feed inside this feeder. 